Oh, ow. <laughs> That's a blooper. Hey dolls, it is Amanda through 1409 and I am finally back with another Halloween tutorial. I try my best to do at minimum one a year. This year was really, really crazy, really hectic, so I'm hoping and praying that I can get this video up in time. But as you can see, I am a little deer. I figured I would draw some inspiration from the deer Snapchat filter because it is like one of my favorites. I love the high pitched voice. I think it's adorable. And so yes, I decided to create my own deer little makeup look. And so yes, if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, let's go ahead and get on into this video and I need to just stop talking. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I have already done my eyebrows using the How to Make Brows Wow Kit from Essence. I do have a full tutorial on how to do eyebrows, so if you guys want to check that out, I will link it on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. This is the Bibo HD Studio Foundation. I love this foundation so much. I'm just going to pop this on my beauty blender and put this all over my face. Now since all the products I'm going to be using from here on out are pretty much mostly going to be powders, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm going to be working on my eyes before I work on the rest of my face just in case I have some fallout. So I'm going in with the Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to take the shade called Baby and I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just kind of pop that all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone as a shimmery base. Okay next I'm going to go in with this shade called Zone and I'm going to pop this kind of on the outer portion of my eye. I'm just going to set it on there and then I will go back in with that big fluffy brush and I will blend it out. Now taking that original fluffy brush, I'm just going to go in and blend this out a little bit. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, just repeating the process. And now I'm going to take this shade called Punk, which is the darkest brown, and I'm going to do the exact same thing with it. Just focus that dark shade on the outer half. And this time when I blend out, oops, I'm just not going to blend out as high or as far out. And using that same fluffy brush, I'm just gonna keep picking up more of that punk shade and just blending it like so. Now taking a flat packing brush and that zone shade again, I'm gonna pop this underneath my eyes. Just like this, don't be afraid to smoke it out. And then going in with the dark punk shade one more time, just focusing that on the outer half of the bottom of my eye. And just connect it on the sides with the top. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna start working on contour. So I'm gonna take my Pro Contour Kit from Profusion that I got from Ross. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, this the lightest brown shade. And I'm really gonna dip into this with my fluffy brush. And I'm gonna start contouring. And then taking the darkest brown shade in this palette, I'm not going to dip as heavily into it, but I'm going to pick quite a bit up 
and just go through and darken, darken everything I just did. Now I'm going to take a separate brush and I'm going to start contouring my nose. So again, I'm going to start with that lightest brown and I'm just going to go down my nose like so and just basically create a line from my eyebrow to the end of my nose, just like that. Other side as well. Blend that out. And then take the darkest shade and do the exact same thing. And then I'm going to go underneath my lip right here and just take a little bit of that and blend it around so there's a little bit of shadow underneath my lip. Now I'm going to go through and try to highlight. So I'm going to take these lighter shades in this palette and a different brush and I'm going to go through and just lighten up certain spots like the bridge of my nose, underneath my eyes right here, the chin just like that. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight which is the Jeffree Star Skin Prop Skin Frost in the shade Ice Cold and I'm going to take that original fluffy brush that I cleaned to blend my eyeshadow. I'm going to use that and I'm going to pick up a lot of this and I'm going to go right here on the inner corner of my eye just like so and I'm really going to pack this on so it just brightens up that inner corner. And I'm just going to go ahead and do some on the bridge of my nose, up here on my forehead a little bit. And I'm just continuing to use this brush on my face so that I can be way more precise as to where I am putting the product. And then I'm going to do a little bit on my cheeks and under my eyes because I just really want to highlight everything that needs to be highlighted. So again, just highlighting all of this open space right here where the contour is not. Highlight my cupid's bow. My chin. Just like that. Next up, I'm going to use some liquid eyeliner. This is just the LA Colors liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to create some big wings on my top eyes, my top eyes, my top eyelids-ish. Okay, so once I have both eyes done, I did take a little bit of concealer to clean up the wings on both sides so that they were semi-symmetrical. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that same eyeliner and I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of a tail coming out of the um, inner corner of my eye. So let's see how this goes. So there is the line coming down from the inner corner. That was a lot more complicated to do than I thought it was going to be, but that part is completely and totally optional, obviously, so do not feel like you have to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of this dark brown and just really contour this nose out. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara to the tops and bottoms. I will be applying false lashes to both the top and bottom. Before I apply my false lashes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And I'm just going to tight line my eyes. Just so you can't really see the skin where my lashes are. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring some of this on my lower waterline as well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and work on the nose while I let my eyes kind of adjust and stop watering. So I'm gonna go back in with the Gwen Stefani palette and that punk shade. This is the darkest brown there. And I'm just gonna start touching this on my nose right here towards the end and blend it up just a little bit. You don't want it blend up too much. And this part is really, really, really easy. When I have to do noses, I really prefer using just um, shadows and then just blending it rather than using, say, a liquid liner or a paint or something and you have to try and sit there and try to get the lines super precise. I love doing something like this where you can kind of just like blend it upwards. It just looks a lot more clean and natural. Now, to make the white dots on the face, you can either use some face paint or I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm basically just going to go around and start creating little dots around where I contoured. And now I'm just gonna go in with a brush and just kind of tap on them. Not necessarily wiping, just tapping on them because this will kind of blend them down a little bit and make them set also. So now comes the time to apply some false lashes. I'm going to use these ones that I got off of eBay for my bottom lashes. They're a little bit more natural and wispy. And then for my top lashes, I'm gonna be using these super wispy ones from Fantasy Makers. Before I proceed with my top lashes, I'm going to take my liquid liner and you guys can see the separation between my false lashes and my real lashes. I'm going to go ahead and take the liner and just kind of go in between there and fill in the spaces while connecting the tail to the top on the outer corner like so. And I'm going to connect it to the inner corner as well. Just do not get the liquid liner on your waterline because that hurts and it sucks. <laughs> okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the lash line with that liquid liner one more time. Now, obviously, lips are also completely and totally optional. I am going to be using this combo right here. It is the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with the Superstay 14 Hour Lipstick from Maybelline in the shade Perpetual Peony. And I'm just gonna go through and clean up a little bit with some concealer. And that is it for the makeup. Of course, you can feel free to tweak anything you want. You can do the lips um, nude. You can do the lips with some brown on them. You can connect the nose to the mouth. It's pretty much endless possibilities with this. But now I'm going to go ahead and throw my wig on. So this wig actually belongs to my mom. I did borrow it from her. We had gotten this for her at a local wig store. Um, it is a synthetic lace front. So I asked if I could borrow this for the tutorial because I did not have my own brown wig. So yes, and as for ears, obviously you guys are probably wondering, my boyfriend got this Rudolph cup for me at Denny's restaurant and the coolest thing about this is he literally only paid a couple dollars for this and this part right here is a headband so I can go ahead and slide this on and now I have fully transformed into a cute little deer. 
and that is it it's pretty simple for the most part I do hope you guys enjoyed this if you decide to recreate this look please let me know share your pictures with me on Twitter at Amanda 31409 and share this look with your friends or anyone who is thinking about dressing up as a deer for Halloween or even uh, to a convention as a deer or if you just want to for kicks and giggles recreate the deer snapchat filter if this is your first video you are watching on my channel feel free to subscribe for more fun cute videos and with that being said i guess i will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye